Chains to come face to face with a man in power. I would say it like it is. We know we're touching the cussing no drama. Things are getting harder. We walk our fingers to the bone. Still, we got nothing to show. Walk the streets and see the faces of the people you lead. Can you beat your chest? You've had the least of your needs. Pretend like all is well Put the worries on the shelf Do respect, I think you should know I would refuse I'm only one that's just for things to get better But I'm not here, no one was in here I'm not here, no one was in here In the midst of our pain, it's a shame You still got time to make a change But I'm not here, no one was in here I'm not here, no one was in here Oh, that I didn't want you to stop. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, Rummy Minds. I, I almost thought I was in your concert. Wow. <laughs> it's fantastic. You've, yeah. oh, I mean, you will always be one of my favorite uh, guitarists. Thank you. Th thank you for joining us um, <laughs> on Rummy Minds. Um, well, we decided to mix it up a bit and start our show off with GTD Guitar Man. Yay. My name is Shadi Lalipo, and um, we're going to be talking to GTE and finding out about his new song. I mean, this song is um, so relevant. Excuse now. me, sir. Excuse me, sir. I mean, music has always been used for social change. Music yeah. has always been used. I mean, Fela Kuti is one of the greatest representat and representatives of that kind of, you know, when yeah. we say, oh, music being used for change, yeah, social yeah. change, you think about Fela in terms of the Nigerian scope. And then you see young musicians who always make sure they have at least one, two songs. And then you find some musicians like you who use their hit songs to be the song to say, look, this is how it's going to be. So I mean, t tell us about the song. It's called Excuse Me, Sir. Yeah. I was listening to the lyrics. Fantastic. <laughs> do you write your songs? Yeah, I do. I do. Actually, um, I wanted to, my plan, my, and I, was, I was talking to my management. I was like, uh, we've been silent for the past um, a year. Last trial, last year, we didn't really do much. So we're like, on the 1st of January, we're going to release two, a love song and a song that is meant to reintroduce GT back into the, um, the scene. Then we heard of the um, subsidy, the, the removal of subsidy, and I was like, wow, if I bring out a love song at this time, it's, it's gonna be so insensitive of me. You know, like I don't understand what people are going through. So I just decided, okay, I have a song called Excuse Me, Sir, somewhere, and I released it. I've, it's, it's a song that I've written like um, years ago, and it's so, so relevant. Yeah, you know? fantastic. I mean, just go through the, the words you said. Uh, I'm like, if I, if I got one chance to come face to face with a man in power, I would say it like it, like it is, with no attention, of causing no drama. Things are getting harder. She be leg balu de ba ulao she she. We walk our fingers to the bone. Still we got nothing to show. And I'm telling him to walk the street and see the faces of the people that he leads. Can he beat the che his chest and say he has met the least of their needs? Should we pretend like all is well? Put our worries on our shelves? Due respect, I think you should know how it feels. Excuse me, sir. Iyanjewa. All I want is just for things to get better. Or get them badje. Elonkmo esiniyame no more kama lulu kama That means planting this point and you're saying it's it's getting ripe <laughs> that is it you know so basically it's it's more like trying to tell the um, the president trying to explain to him that I, because i really don't think they understand what the ordinary man is feeling yeah. when they make their laws i don't think they put into consideration the ordinary man on the streets because take for example how is, how would they intend um, for, um the guy earning eighteen thousand naira per month how is he meant to fuel his car that if he has one by the way how is he meant to feed his family how is it you know all those things that's why I do this kind of music. <laughs> it's, it's very inspiring, yeah. and we, we we're so encouraged when we see young musicians. Mm. We'll take that because it's a chance instead of yeah, doing yeah. a song that is upbeat. Don't, and don't, club, sorry, don't club. don't get it wrong. I mean, on the on the truth, I have a number of songs. Like yeah. I have love songs. I have um, um, songs about situation. Songs about uh, a whole lot of songs. I actually, well, you chose to release this song. Yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. It's still a chance. Like, it, it, well, there are going to be other songs that they're going to listen Definitely. to. But I'm just like, if I have a chance to uh, make music. 
I'd rather not make it empty. I'd rather put a message in it. You okay, know? so tell us about your album that you're releasing. Um, so. it's, it's good. I think but I'm going to release it um, like last quarter of the year. You know, we started well already with, um, excuse me, sir, and in a few days we're, going, we're, we're trying to look at how we're going to be able to release those love songs without being insensitive still, you know, because right now, I mean, people just lost their lives. My heart goes out to uh, the, uh, yeah, the people who lost their lives, you know, and also to the management and staff of um, Channel yeah. Television, you know, that's why I'm putting on black, by the way, you know, it's, it's really a sad thing, and I'm like, there shouldn't be a power that is greater than uh, the, the government than JJ. I mean GEJ. There shouldn't be a force that you shouldn't be able to tackle. Is is the commander in chief of armed forces? Come on. There should these things keep happening, and he needs to stop it. He needs to look for how to stop it. We don't. We really don't care how he, how he intends to do it, but he needs to. You know, he need, people need to feel safe again. Okay. You know, <laughs> it's it's. <laughs> Tell us about your album. Right? You know, okay. we're all feeling this, but you know, we want to also know okay. what's happening with GT. I mean, you've been out of the scene for a while. Yeah, yeah. You know, your your last album, the Dreamer Project, was fantastic. I mean, I love yeah. the you know the yeah. songs on there. Very yeah. inspiring. Also Thank very you. upbeat. You know, your style is unique. Yeah. You know, I mean, we have a few alternative artists in Nigeria. It's, it's becoming a an accepted you know genre, genre, genre of music. music yeah. But you're still unique in your own way, which is fantastic. So Tell us about what we're going to expect from GT in the next couple of months. Uh, definitely expect expect music, expect uh, songs like Excuse Me, say, expect love songs, great love songs. Expect, uh, and I also have a song that I rapped. I also have a rap song. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually called Burn the Weed. When you hear it, you think I'm talking about the weed they smoke, but I'm saying Burn the Weed. Like it, when you surround yourself okay. with people who will tap things that you're meant to, that's okay. meant to so make you So you're going to be rapping this yeah. year. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I, I already have the song. You know. Okay, fantastic. You know, so, so, do you have a name for the album yet? Um, no, no, not oh, yet. Yes. Not yet. Still I, I'm, still, I'm still thinking. But I, I wrote the songs already, so I'm just looking at. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the best uh, name for it. Okay, yeah. take your time. We're no hurry. <laughs> I mean, bring out the, the, the fantastic singles so we can hear Definitely that. Definitely, you get so, to hear I mean, that. and then if we can have a few singles out there so that we can play and do all that. Definitely. 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 Well, Definitely. thank you for coming on the show. You're welcome. Really Thanks appreciate. It. I mean. Your music is inspired, and please make sure you keep on inspiring us. Definitely, Thank definitely, you very much. You're so we're gonna take a break. After the break, uh, we'll talk a bit of um, well, what's been going on in the country, in the state of the nation, and then of course we're gonna have guests on the show. So stick around. It's Robin Minds, and we'll be back. Reporting politics is not as straightforward as you might imagine. Most times. What is may not just be as it appears. More like the case of the more you look, the less you see. The more you try to understand the situation, the more confusing it gets. What we do in politics today, dissect the scenario, no matter how difficult. Because ultimately, our job is to help you make sense of it all. At first, it's only anticipation that something is about to happen. This is one thing that makes life interesting. To compete not only with players across the field, but across the world. It makes me feel joy when we win and sorrow when we lose. The action and reaction colliding, falling, dropping, despite the odds. I love it because it brings me tears, tears of victory, tears of joy. The skill that leads to the pass, the pass that leads to the short, the short that leads to the goal, the goal that is telling, the ultimate. Channel Sports, defining the moment of true sport. It's a platform to ask and get answers to those personal questions bordering on your health. Every Saturday at 12.30 p.m., medical and non-medical experts in simple language address nagging questions on nutrition and fitness, cardiovascular health, growth and development, reproductive health and first aid and safety, and a host of other health conditions on Health Matters. Health Matters dispel general misconception about certain health conditions. For a better understanding of how to improve your health, watch Health Matters live only on Channels TV.
in the entertainment world, Channels Television will be there to give insights in the music industry. Just recently worked, you know, do, done some stuff with uh, Olamide. Um, Movie industry. I'm amazed at the stories that other people tell, how they... This is my home. You will come in seven. As well as the trendy statements in the world of fashion. Join Oge Chuku Osi as she brings the world of entertainment to your doorstep. Only on Channels Television. of Nigeria it is good to be here this Sunday afternoon Shadi is no longer alone her sidekick has come okay <laughs> <laughs> thank you for joining us again you know, there was chemistry there was some chemistry between the two of us last week <laughs> at the end of the show which our viewers have been asking us about so be nice to me today Adebola of the future please be nice to me I love you Adebola oh, I, so I love good. Nigeria yeah. more that's all Okay, all right, good afternoon, welcome. It's Robin Mines on Channels TV, and in the middle of everything happening in the country, we try to find the little joys and things to make us smile and still be happy. But nonetheless, um, we still have to get to the nitty gritty. Yes, we still have to get to the nitty, nitty yeah, gritty, the reality of things. Yeah. You know, um, before we kick off, our heart goes out to Enechi, yeah. um, our colleague in Channels who Love died uh, I mean, the kind of blast last week. Uh, uh, Our condolences to his family. To his family. We pray that um, God gives him the fortitude to bear to bear the loss, uh, which is why our, 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 our topic will take a different slant. Um, um, uh, the show will take a different slant from what we planned initially, which was to talk about the aftermath of the first subsidy. But with the blast in Kano, in Bayelsa, in Bauchi, it seems like Boko Haram is going to be the resurfacing uh, topic mm, mm, so for we'll, a while. We'll be spending time to talk about that. You seen the four, four gentlemen in the studio, uh, two of them on suit, two on native. One thing they all had in common some minutes ago before we disarmed them was the <laughs> Nigerian constitution. We all have a copy uh, of the constitution. I have a hard yeah, copy. Yeah. Or there, there's still copy. one hiding somewhere. <laughs> yes, I got yes. it on the table. You know, and, and that's because they are all lawyers. Uh, yes. Waiting lawyer knows safe. We want to find out, you know. Oh, so wow. we're, we're going to have a very intellectual show today, we yes, hope. Very informative. And informative show. I mean, brought these people because I mean as lawyers they're exposed to so much information and they are thought to balance and so we're hoping that we can explore these different issues facing our country at this time find a balance and hopefully some form of suggested solutions um, to where we can go from here um, I'm going to introduce on my is left right yes you're left. on my left is Tolu Amu Obamura. Tolu Obamura. Tolu is a legal practitioner. Um, next to Tolu is Benga. Mm -hmm. Benga Akinlabi. I don't know why all of them. Then I have three kun. Is it two kunis in the studio? So I'm mixing the names of all, all morning. <laughs> Benga Akinlabi. Good to have you on the show. Thank you very much. On your right, Kunle. We have Kunle Oshibogo on the show. And nice finally, is that? I said, nice to meet you. Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, thanks for Let's blocking see. me when I was coming to the studio. <laughs> okay, Shelly, can you just Shelly, can you can you just leave leave that no. for now? You know, and just be nice to him. Our final on guest. The show, you know. <laughs> and finally, uh, of course, we have Kuni again. Yeah, yeah, so we have, well. yeah, we have. It's nice being here. So we have how many colours? Okay, two colours on the show. The colours to the right. Two colours. The colours on the right. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, let's go at it. I mean, we didn't do news because we're all going to, you know, talk about these issues together. But let's go. At I mean, it. I think before we talk about the the bomb, the okay. Boko Haram issue. I mean, let's just talk briefly about after the subsidy. You know, this the aftermath of the subsidy. You know, there's so many things that happened. Yes. The increase, stroke decrease of this of the of the price. Yes. <coughs> 
army on the streets, yeah. you know. A lot of people are, you know, asking lots of questions, you know. Is our democracy in trouble? Did we even have a democracy? Mm -hmm. You know, could Fashola have done something? Because, I mean, we're in Lagos, so we have to discuss that because if you're passing through the, the, the now freedom the soldiers park, are still there. the soldiers are still there. It's killing everybody. You know, so the you're wondering, you know, the bombings are going on in Kano and yeah. there's soldiers here in Lagos yeah, and no, no one is doing anything. I mean, we're having peaceful protests here. What's, I mean, what's going on? Is there, you know, I mean, legally, Legally, let's talk about that. Legally, I mean, Kule, I mean, Kule in Kule <laughs> yes, Legally, yes. I mean, is the president allowed to put the army on the streets? Okay, I mean, thanks very much. Um, this is an issue that um, I've generated a lot of controversy in the sense that it raises a question, and the basic question is are we truly running a federal system of government? I mean, a true federalism. Because if you compare what is happening and what they have or what is comparable in other parts of the world, then it's almost like a sham. Now, in a true federalism, the states are not, are not components, as it were, of the federal state. They are independent units. Mm. And I, I'm just taking it from that perspective. By the time I get to the question itself, you understand what is really happening. The states are not supposed to be tied to the north or to the posting of the federal government, okay? That presupposes that the state with some power on their home. And in allocation and every otherwise, the state has some authority to exercise. Now, coming back home to what is happening, it, it, it's not hard of. It, it, I, I said it in a number of quarters that the federal government has limited responsibility, and the responsibility of the state and the, and the federal government is well spelled out in the Constitution. So that, except on what you have as a concurrent list, there is nothing that ties you two together. The state, each state can decide on what they want, independent of the other states. And it, it, it applies in so many things. For example, we have some laws applicable in Lagos, not applicable in other states of the federation. The same thing with the federal laws, that except if there are uh, um, what you call it, there are inconsistency yes, yes. or there is a kind of a clash. That is when the state, the federal law can override yes, yes. the covering the field principle. Yes. Now, it is not heard of. In the first instance, the federal government has nothing, has no basis, has no authority, no constitutional right or what have you to interfere in the security of the state where there are no reasons for such. And I'll state the reason shortly. Okay? Now, the federal government can the, the state government is the chief security officer of yes. each state. Yes. Now get that. I'm trying to lay the premise. So by the time we move on from there, mm. you know, even, even Governor Fashola himself, I don't really know why he's holding back. Because this is a clear case for the court. It's a clear case that can, it's a constitutional matter. Yes. And I felt somebody should be hitting the court hard on this. Now, the federal government is only, and so just, quote and unquote, so just are not meant to be on the street as it were. The constitutional function of maintaining peace and security is for the police. Okay? It's only when you have a state of emergency that the security of the state is handed over to the federal government. Mm. Okay, so, uh, so are we saying that, that that's what should be going on in a place like Kano? For yeah, instance, yeah. 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 I mean, the president, yeah. if the president yeah. called a state of emergency in Kano now, I think it's, the streets, it's, it's proper. Yes. That would be proper. It yes. would be proper. Now, when 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 the soldiers came on the streets, um, the people still tried to organize certain events, well. you know, okay. and they were sabotaged. <coughs> um, the now, gassed, you know, some were tear gas, and, and the now Freedom Park blocked off. I remember that the the night the the <coughs> Dawn before the, 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 the major rally, yeah. where, where the, the on Monday, mm -hmm. um, the soldiers themselves had dismantled the, the sound, stage. the stage, and all the things mm -hmm. they were using at the Freedom Park. Now, what could the people have done legally? Mm -hmm. um, you've talked about what the, the governor could do. Mm -hmm. What could the people have done legally in this scenario? Okay. Yeah, it, yeah it, it, it's fair to say that um, a citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria is entitled to his right to assemble. Now. But in a situation where there's a state of emergency, then that right will surely be minimized. But there is no state of emergency declared yet. Um, in direct response to your question as to what could they have done, my opinion would have they could have sought an alternative venue. Because to do anything other than that would 
result in anarchy. Now, um, with the actions of the federal government sending troops on the streets of Lagos, I'd say two things. Whilst the governor of Lagos State is the chief security officer, um, the federal government has responsibility for the whole federation. Unfortunately, um, the federal government has not followed due process with um, deployment of soldiers because the Constitution and the Police Act are both very clear as to who is responsible for maintaining law and order, which is the police force. So before you can deploy troops to the streets, you must first have a state of emergency. That's when you have what they call the National Guards in the United States. Now, we have soldiers on the streets in Nigeria. One, um, the federal government, Mr. President, has not sent a proclamation to the National Assembly to declare a state of emergency. If he sends that, um, if it's not proven in two days, automatically the state of emergency lapses. So these are fine issues of law yeah. that have not been followed, and that's with due process. So um, I would say, is it an illegality? Um, it's unconstitutional, but Mr. President has the power because he's the commander, of the commander in chief of the of the armed forces. So if he wants to make Freedom Park um, a barracks, for example, you know, I would say, you know, say for overriding public interest to book the land there, you know, he can. So that's that's where the fine line is. It's he, the due process has not been followed, but he does have the power to. And, and I'll say that. Okay, so he, he has the power to deploy soldiers where there is a threat to the sovereignty of Nigeria, or, national security. or there's national, there's a problem of national security. The national security is at stake. Internal, the primary responsibility of the Nigerian army is to quell internal and external it's aggression. Aggressive. Now, going by all what has been said, we cannot channel it to has there been a threat to the Sovereignty, sovereignty of, Nigeria. of Nigeria by the protest that was going on at Ojota Freedom Park. Okay. The question is no. no. So by that, we can see that the, gov the, the, the president has acted. Ultravirus. Ultravirus. Hmm. Uh, okay. Well, I, I was just going to add um, a little line, which is um, the president can actually bring in the military to quell insurrection um, if there's a state of lawlessness and um, the police are unable to suppress the insurrection. Okay, let me cut you quickly. quickly. Let me cut Very you quickly. Well. You, you said if, yes. but there wasn't. There wasn't. Yes. Exactly. So can we say that the president foresaw that it could come to this, and that's why he took that step? Uh, can we say that? You see, there must be reasonableness about it. Yes. Mm. Is there, can the president be said to have reasonably foreseen? Mm. Yeah. There is no because the protest, the protest had it was gone a peaceful, on. It was a peaceful yes, but it had protest. gone, but it had gone on for five days. Yeah. Yeah. Very well. So maybe you had to spend yeah, it so maybe had, six days. Being that the, their demand has not <laughs> yeah. been met, mm. it went on for five days because their demand has not been met. The right to freedom of association and, and peaceful expression. assembly is guaranteed under Section 40 of the Constitution, mm. and that is sacrosanct. Okay. No person can, under normal circumstances. It's not nobody is expected to, to, to infringe on that particular right. Okay. And also, also go, taking if we if this is to be taken further, if the legal state government feels like taking this further, there is there is this argument that the president has sworn to uphold the constitution of Nigeria. Is the constitution being held here? The answer is no. And 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 um, another another issue. It's um, though these rights are clear constitutional rights, but they are not absolute. Yeah, because, right. um, uh, for example, if you read section 45 of the Constitution, it yes. says uh, the, the mere provision of those sections dealing on fundamental human yeah. rights does not mean that if there is any, situa any law yes. that is um, reasonably justifiable in a democratic society, so that's, um, it can still be applied. Yes. So, and you have all kinds of military laws that allow the, the president to deploy soldiers yes. in, the, um, in, in, in uh, extreme circumstances. But the circumstances are not present here. Okay. I, I, I just want to maybe a last touch. We need touch. to move on from this particular <laughs> issue. Yeah. Yeah. I, I wish I could I'll just make a more comment on that before we rest that uh, topic. Now, um, basically, we've all said the, gov the president has a right to deploy soldiers, okay? But we've all agreed that 
the circumstances or the circumstances upon which the president can do that is not well laid out. Now, we exactly. should not forget that we are in a democracy. Very well. And uh, in all that we say here, we should be able to project the fact that the people in a democratic setting has the real power. Sovereignty belongs to the people. Okay? So the president is not a military or a dictatorial kind of president in this nature as to do what you think he can do. So we need to put away the cap of a military regime and see things in proper perspective. If we're in a true federalism, we're, exactly. we're in a democracy. And I'm looking at this from a true people. federalism. If we're in a true federalism, I still maintain my point. The age of legal state should be at the court. At okay. Yes. All right, let, let's go back to <coughs> the issue of when there should actually be a state of emergency. I mean, no, no, not even the requirement yet, but the issue that has brought the whole subsidy matter. Um, the, the whole um, 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 soldiers on the street, protests, and, protests yeah. and strikes. Let's go back to the issue, which subsidy. is subsidy. Now, fast forward, subsidy, no subsidy. One thing we keep hearing, which we heard the last time when we had no president for five months, hmm. was that there was a certain, or there is a certain cabal. <laughs> that is the reason why we are in this mess. Legally, what can be done to find this cabal? To deal with this cabal, what should be done to this cabal to get us out of this? I mean, if they name if they name the cabal today, I mean, and which they the name the, 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 the couple, which is, the, the couple, which, which, is, we, which is the point that if you know who um, who, who this cabal are, you, why don't you go after them? The truth is, you have an um, the KPMG audit yes. that audited yes. the account of NNPC, indicted some people that the due process had not been followed Follow. in doing this, in, in doing that, you yeah, know, okay. and there are names. Yes. You release um, 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 the names of people to us. We yes. know um, the, the um, Oando and all those companies. You, you, you know those people. So what do you need to do? Call EFCC in, let them look into the matter, and if anybody is found culpable, let them be prosecuted. Is it's EFCC, simple. Is EFCC the right decision to call based on I mean, all kinds of attacks that they've also gone under in terms of their credibility and, and all of that. Who, who the the uh, EFCC, uh, the police, the ICPC is yeah. their primary responsibility. Mm -hmm. It's the primary responsibility of all these organizations. So why hasn't that been done? Okay, uh, basically... Well, the the issue is that, to ask the question, who is calling the shots? Mm -hmm. And to bring this question home to what can be done to curtail this cabal, or why has this cabal gone so bigger than Nigeria. When I was in school, there's this thing that they say in sociology that the the whole is bigger than some of its parts. I don't believe anybody is stronger than the Nigerian nation. I don't believe there's anybody that is stronger than the Nigerian army. Any militant group that is stronger than the Nigerian army. So for me, the issue boils down to for politicians, who do you dine with when seeking the office? Okay. Who do you dine with? They understand many of these are political corporations, they've dined with the devil, quote and unquote. And because of that, they cannot come out to face them. But what I expect a responsible government to do is to call it, okay, boys, come, party's over. Mm -hmm. Party's over. Everybody go home. Let's do things right. But come on, we are not getting things right in this country. Can I, can I say something? Um, yes, I think sir. it's saying, using the word cabal, it, it's just like uh, trying to hide what the, On the, the issue is. <laughs> um, the real issue is, is a systemic problem, problem. with Nigeria mm. you know, mm. how it operates. Um, I don't think the five or ten gentlemen that have been named are the cause of all this mess. Yeah. But I know that before you could get papers out of any government agency, yeah, civil processes. servants have to pass it. They are yeah. processes. Yeah. So if they haven't got our complices within government, there's no way it will work. So it goes back to the point that if you have a government that is really serious with tackling corruption yes. and tackles it from within, then you haven't, even if, yeah. if a businessman comes with a lot of money <laughs> trying to bribe you, you know that your job is gone if you take yes. it. Okay, I don't think it's as easy as um, we are saying it. And I have my strong view. Um, cabal, 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 I don't know, the world has become a household. <laughs> household <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's always coming up any time. As far as I'm concerned, yeah, there's cabal <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. 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 Where there's politics, there's cabal. A student was asked <laughs> that what we like to become in the future. So yeah, I'd like to be cabal. <laughs> <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, he, 
What's, what really comes to mind is um, a situation where thieves or some set of thieves are calling others thieves mm -hmm. or where you are running after a thief and it's also calling somebody else thief. That is just what really comes to mind. As far as I'm concerned, like uh, Kunle rightly said, it's a systemic problem. It's not just starting now. It's not just starting. And I'm happy it's, 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 everything is it's open. 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 Yes. I, I, I've always advocated something that I, I, I'm comfortable with the way Nigeria is now, not because of what we are going through. Not because of what is happening right now, but because of the process. There was time I spoke to some people and I said, look, there is a principle, I don't know if it's been invented or somebody has thought of it in the past, I said, look, there is a principle of ev revolution by evolution. Mm -hmm. That if we keep evolving, and I said it long ago, right from when I was, thank God we went to the same university, and they said, it's going to evolve. It's like a dirty water. Just keep it flowing. Keep it flowing. Exactly. Let it keep going. Mm -hmm. Do, what you don't do is to stop it from stop stop flowing. Flow. Now, now, he said that they must have accomplices. Yes. In yes. Problems. There must only be connivance. If you watch the, um, the House of Rapper, <laughs> public hearing, <laughs> the public mm -hmm. hearing, it's a, it's a, you know, a um, someone a says, oh, I haven't signed anything. Someone says, it's the, the, it's the permanent secretary. Mm -hmm. Someone says, it's mm -hmm. the Minister of Finance. Pushing Someone blinks. says, it's the Minister of Petroleum. Someone says, I've not attended a board meeting <laughs> in many years. Mm -hmm. So, how do we, because if, if, if the names they have named mm. have associates in mm. government, then the real cabal I has not been found. Yes. So legally, what can we do? I mean, anything. Is, is there anything, you know, I mean... Outside of the government, is there anything exactly, that can be done? Exactly, is there anything that can be done? Okay. And then even in government, is there something they should be doing that they're not doing that you want to prefer? Okay. For, let me just take something before I leave that to you. Um, inside the government, really, if we have an ideal system, there should be a lot of resignation by now. <laughs> that is the truth. Yes. But we know we're going to get there by my revolution by evolution principle. <laughs> yes, we'll get there. We are just moving. That should be, I mean, you can't come, you are the, you are the hems of affairs. Yes. You did not attend, but these are excuses that. You don't even know how. You don't even know how, how, how it's happening. We so, so daily. Now, legally, or legally, in, it's, it's so amazing that we have a very viable instrument in our hands as lawyers. Yeah. And which, which would have been very instrumental now, people are not using. The issue of local standard has been taken off, off long ago. Go now, ahead. individual, I can approach the court. Because I can I sue the federal government. I, right. In as much as I can prove that I'm a taxpayer, up to date taxpayer, I mean, the Please say that louder, say that louder. So okay, as long individuals, I pay my tax, I can I'm entitled to approach the government mm. on any issue. Sure. And sue the government. And sue the federal government. Mm -hmm. I had Falano is in court now. I don't know how, how true that is over, yeah. over the issue of these military uh, guys on the, on the street yeah. of Lagos. So, I mean, that was, that was why I said the court should be heated up now. Of course, we have problem with the judiciary too. Yes, but when I was coming here, these are my thoughts. But I'm not comfortable too because I know the judiciary in the, in the, in the, in in the, the last same time yes. has been a mess. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. <clears throat> yes. <clears throat> Kuna, you were going to say something. Yes, okay. yes. Um, I was going to talk on on that issue of what can be done. Because he said outside. inside. I mean, this is what we can, I mean, so from the outside, you're saying, um, as individuals who yes, are paying tax, as, we can I've just spoken yes. from outside. Yes. 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 As taxpayers, you can sue, but what your case will be based on is, has to be the reports or investigations from exactly. whatever has happened. Mm -hmm. So what I would say is for us as citizens of the Federal Republic to put pressure on our legislators yeah. to ensure that this public hearing Something right. tangible comes out. You know, out something is tangible report, report comes, comes out and it's published. Yes. So that is in the public domain. It's it's unfortunate that in the constitution the legislatures cannot compel the executive to prosecute. Right? But then concerned citizens yes. with the with the lack of um local stand um, the um look standard. The, the flexibility of local standard. standard. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, so if, if if for instance we to sue, sue the federal government for something, yes. what, what what could we sue? based on the, the, the same events, all the issues and how what you can we do for it? You, you can't, right now you have to wait for more or less the report of the House of um, Assembly or National Assembly to come out and if no action is being taken on that, then you can now apply for uh, uh, automandamus yeah. to call to the AG them, or anybody to prosecute and the prosecute them individuals. to prosecute whatever individuals are contained That's for, in that. for what exactly? Because there's so, there are many, there are many things. Yeah, the investigation from the... Um, That's for the um, subsi subsidy. Yes, the, for the subsidy. subsidy. For the How about subsidy. for the police on the street? Yeah. Fundamental human rights. Right. That comes under for the infringement of fundamental, fundamental human rights. Right. So, that's <laughs> already in court. Over yeah, so, other, other individuals so. can sue right now for 
fundamental human rights. Right. Very well. Right now. Very well. Fact, Ordinary citizen can sue right now. Right now. Yes. For, right? for an infringement of their fundamental rights. Right. That, that's not as straightforward as that. Um, yes, you have a right to assemble, mm -hmm. right? But also, you have certain laws that for It's not absolute. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's, it's not absolute. And you also yes. have other laws as well that. Yeah. For example, uh, forbids you from obstructing the road. Mm. There's so many other laws the in there. Has, so if you come and say, for example, that um, I want to assemble and I'm being prevented, Where which, do you is, want which is why I now said, why don't you look for an alternative venue? Mm. Okay. That's what a reasonable judge would say. That mm. okay, if they've blocked that place, you know, you could, ass you could ass else. assemble somewhere else. Somewhere else. Yes. So I, I think to proceed to court um, to enforce um, your right to assemble at the Freedom Park, mm. which you know, it's the property of the government. <coughs> you know, it's um, I, I, I would slightly disagree on that because um, SNG sought for permission from Lagos State Government. They like got approval. Mm. So if you are going to um, say they should look for alternative venue, you need to show Why? what how they are breaching public peace. That's, there's no threat. There's no, they were not fighting. They are peaceful. So you can't just, because don't forget that they have a right to move freely. And assemble. And assemble. So if they've chosen to assemble in a particular location and they've gotten approval, and you're just coming to say, look, you cannot. OK, so what I want to take from yeah. this is SNG can go to court. They are in court. Yeah, but maybe individuals might not be able to take the case to court since they were not the ones that got the approval. Well, the, the, Under the, the body of SNG, you can go to yes. court yeah. based on this. The and then on the other hand, mm -hmm. for the after the uh, proceedings in the House concludes and then we get the report. No, it's even more than that. No, I, it, I was going to add yes. to that mm -hmm. that we don't have to wait for the yes. House to conclude this proceeding. There's a KPMG report. I was going to say that. Exactly. That everyone Present, can get that that everyone, it. Yeah, I have it on it's my online. system here. So the KPMG report has been there for since 2010. Mm -hmm. And now I understand the Minister um, of Petroleum has As set up an audit committee, committee. to, to re-audit KPMG. What has audited? You, do you understand? And I find it very funny because in an ideal good. society, this mm -hmm. woman will be one of those who will be uh, who yeah, investigated. Yeah, yeah. But now she is the one calling the yeah, to come in. Yes, She's right. the one setting up another yes, audit yes, committee. As, 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 as yes. of and it, on the audit committee, Many Nigerians have been raising issues concerning them. Mm. They are they, 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 they are audit committees that have no international reputation. Mm, yeah, yeah. Because, you, yeah. you are you are auditing KPMG. You are auditing a, a, a big national corporation. I would like to say that NNPC is the main national corporation that Nigeria has, and you are bringing companies that don't have any. Any, any name to protect mm. any, yes. against yeah. Yeah. Any, yeah. Any, yeah. any track record. Yeah. 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 I mean, yes, I just want to say something that um, if you would proceed to court on on the KPMG on, on the KPMG report, report. Uh, you know, I wonder what the grounds would be because there has been no criminal. It's, it's an audit report. The yeah. auditor general, right, in my opinion, yes. would have to review that report mm. and yeah. pr and forward that to the National Assembly, right as provided in, in the Constitution mm -hmm. for the committees to sit and analyze if any for if any discrepancies are contained in that really report. Difficult. But for an and uh, should I say an ordinary Nigerian citizen to go to court on the KPMG report saying based on this audit, mm -hmm. you know, I think there there has been no investigation. Freedom of information there, there's been no investigation. That's that's where my that's where my you can call in the um, the EFCC, like I said. You can call in the police. Let them investigate. Yes, it, but what you have is a report. citizen of the Federal Republic cannot call in the EFCC. The National Assembly. Of I can write a petition, write a petition to petition. EFCC. You, yes, you can write you a petition. And if they fail to carry out the you function, go to I can get, get another mandamus to them. compel them to carry out the function. Yes, so three lies against one. Okay. Now, finally, we need to take a break. We need to take a break. But before we do that. Um, there's a lot of ambiguity around the short document. Mm. Okay. There's nothing sure about it. There's nothing sure about it. What I to find out is, before yeah. the, they begin to allocate funds to certain projects, yes. is that process not supposed to have passed through the National Assembly? Mm. Has that process already been done? You know, and then and so, we just so see, we just see money being allocated. Being allocated, mm. you know, Somehow. twenty-four billion for billion euros. Okay. So, so, so two things. Yeah, you said there's nothing sure about the document. I like you to, to to explain what you mean. Yeah. And then secondly, this ambiguity and permission and approvals yeah. and all of that. Those two things. Before we we take a break. Okay, there's nothing sure about the short document mm. because one, they they <laughs> sold the idea to us as if there's one the short um, money is coming from an 
one source that we don't know. Number one, if you check the 2012 budget, you have estimated revenue and I expenditure. Now, it's a 4.7 trillion era budget, yes. out of which the federal government will need to at least borrow 1 trillion era. Now, if, and that's based on the assumption that one, the oil the price, price, the benchmark is $70, yes. and then we are going to be producing 2.45 Bar million barrels per day. And then a third assumption that there will be no deduction for oil subsidy. That is, there's not going to be um, 44 naira subsidy per, per liter. That was, it was on that assumption that it came by the figure. Now, you find yourself in a situation where federal government is going to borrow one point uh, one trillion naira to finance the, the budget. Now there's already a deficit of two point seven seven percent of a deficit of a uh, GDP. Now what that means is to bring in the additional this for, um, forty four naira per liter that they are subsidizing, which will mean about um, five hundred and forty nine billion naira. It will mean that they will have to borrow more and. That will be in contravention of Section 12 of the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2007. Mm. So the short document is not sure. Where are they going to get the money from? And again, I was telling my colleague uh, before, before we came on the show that, look, in 2012 budget, 11 billion naira has been marked for Abuja Lokoja Expressway. Now, in the short document, they were marked 14 billion naira for that same project. So you are looking, what is the, the Ministry of Finance is going to be actually trying to um, oversee the spending of its 11 billion era, and then you have the yeah, Colour Day committee, committee coming, committee. and then you are going to pay the two committee. What, as in why? Those are wastages we are talking about that the government will have to cut down. The short document is not sure. There's no money coming from anywhere. They are just deceiving us. The government is broke, and they are looking for ways of raising revenue that's what happened okay that's your <clears throat> that's your opinion the, federal, yeah. the, the minister of finance has said the country is not broke but that that's your yeah, opinion that's yeah answer. okay now the final one is the approvals mm -hmm. so is it possible for this document to be run without the approvals of the well I, I think the president with due respect has um he's been committing a lot of blunders mm -hmm. with due respect because in the first instance there are so many things he has said, mentioned in the recent past that he doesn't have the constitutional power to do. Mm -hmm. For example, saying he's going to cut the salary of this, salary of that, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. Now, talking on the issue, he, he, the budget is already before the House. Mm -hmm. There is no, the, the constitution is clear, there is no appropriation without properly being passed to the House. So, this budget before the House is well articulated <coughs> there. So, whatever the short document is saying, how it's going to be incorporated into the uh, president budget, I don't know how he's going to spend because he cannot, they cannot, the president cannot spend a dime without it's passing through the house. Right. So it. is that short document legal? You, well, that's, that's the point I was going to raise. Mm -hmm. that you can't put something or nothing. nothing and it's that's, 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 that's a time of no, law exactly. adage. You can't yeah. put something or nothing. There's no law as, as, as today supporting the short document. Yeah? Yes. So any act done based on that Although, although we are still waiting for them, they are saying that they are going to let it come under a supplementary budget. But he has been creating a problem to solve another problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody's wishful thinking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're going to, need to take a break, and then we're going to talk about Boko Haram. Okay. I mean, because well. this is a disease that's eating all of us, and um, I like Boko Haram. Yeah. <laughs> 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 well, I'm, uh, I'm not going to say I'm their fan, you know. Just like I like my you, I like Boko Haram. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So we take a short break, and when we come back, it will still be Boko Haram, Haram. and then we'll. we'll, we'll did I say that? Did you hear what I said? You said Just join us after the break so we can finish yeah, up. I was trying to be the serious one and then, you know, we take a break, by the way. You have failed to conduct primaries. And you, conduct, you, and you conducted primaries. You have 48 cases in court. 
I will he not have anyone. Bonnie George wrote the name of the book. Bonnie George has written somebody's name. From prison, I handed over to you. Of, you are being tried if you say what nothing. you are saying, I'm yes. people, people would. Let them throw it and it will go back because to them you, because you know they don't the know line. that you are deceiving them. Is it it doesn't company? matter. You are generating it doesn't matter. billion and you are comparing yourself it doesn't matter. with 30 billion or some people, billion. Some people will borrow the money and they will not use it. What we want is to get the job done. Face Off, Wednesdays, 8 to 9 p.m. Only on Channels Television. Welcome back. It's still Revin Minds on Channels TV, and we've been talking state of the nation. Uh, talked about the recent happenings with the fuel subsidy issues, uh, the soldiers unleashed in Lagos. The not so the sure document. Not so sure document, and um, all the issues around the fuel subsidy. Um, something that has stayed with us uh, for some reasons is last year. Unfortunately. Um, unfortunately, mm -hmm. um, it is the Boko Haram issue. <coughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. And um, checking on Twitter now, someone sent me a message and said, you know, our president made a statement and said terrorism is something you would have to uh, mm -hmm. live with, mm -hmm. you know. And the person then also said that, but peaceful protest is something that we have to unleash soldiers on, um, you know. So what he was saying to me was that please ensure that you uh, read out my comment and you we should ad address, you know, the, the contrast, you know, when. Um, um, major issues are happening you know and then it seems as if our government is tackling you know the little the little uh, um, I mean, happenings around so i'm going to quickly quickly ask you um, um you know it, it's gone off again in Kano. 20 spots but do you th think there's something major you know um the government says nine people died yeah no, before we even come to the nitty-gritty of the details <laughs> sorry before we come to the nitty-gritty of the details 20 spots in a state, how possible that we did not pick intelligence mm -hmm. on one? Kano is big, but the Hausa community has a way of knowing almost each everybody, you know, knowing the houses, knowing the people, you know. So how come we couldn't find, you know, something? Some and there need, is a government in place in Kano. Need, yeah. I'm, I'm assuming. Know, and then, of course, there's government in Kano. Yeah. Well, the like. Um, every other issue in Nigeria, I think the government has failed in its um, primary responsibility. For example, we were discussing the other time, um, Lagos is peaceful, you bring a battalion of army officers to Lagos, and then you have the volatile north. Like, they are not on the street of Kano yesterday, a friend was telling me that he couldn't see a single policeman. Not a single one. So it's, um, I had goes to um, those who lost their lives in the unfortunate incident. But the primary responsibility of every government, as stated in Section 14 of the Constitution, is the welfare of the people and the security of the people. So you know, this government has shown that it's incapable of doing both. One, the welfare of the people, you only subsidy on us, on security, it's just not there. So it's, it's, um, it's unfortunate. I feel saddened by what happened in Kano. And look where we're still talking about Kano. Yenugua, two blasts. That's the home state of the president. So we're not safe. Also, Bauchi, we did some bomb blasts were also recorded in Bauchi, if I'm not wrong. And um, from all what we have been said, no, all what we have been saying, it shows that this government has left its primary responsibilities and is chasing shadows mm. because it's, <coughs> Lagos, there is nothing the soldiers are doing in the streets of Lagos when there is abundance of work for them to do in those places where Boko Haram 
we, those areas that are prone to Boko Haram attack. Okay, colleagues, Boko Haram, I mean, they, they've come out. They're on, they're on CNN, they're on BBC. You know, so it's, it's not the Kaba, it's not yeah. the faceless. Yeah. It is, it's not faceless. The guy didn't cover his face. Why are we not able to apprehend? Why are we not able to? I mean, they say they are a religious protection. It's a religious movement, you know, protecting the Islamic rights and it's, 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 it's. So, is it like they have some kind of right that is making them untouchable? I mean, let me act like a layman here, you know. What is hampering our government? I'll, I'll, I'll say two from things. Out? Yes, I'll say two things. There's nobody that um, has immunity from prosecution, save for um, officers. I think the executive arm of government yes. was in office. There's nobody who has immunity. From. And there's also time doesn't run against the state. So that even 20 years or 30 years from now, anybody could still... Time does run against criminal prosecution. What I would say is that um, the sect and um, Boko Haram is more or less the fruit of a decayed or a decaying tree. A decaying tree being Nigeria. And I would say rather than, you know, I know that's the main issue now, being you've got people, you know, with bombs everywhere and everybody feels insecure. But I think we should actually be looking at the root cause of that. And one of those things is, I think I've been hearing so many calls for the national conference again, um, and people saying, let's have that to move forward. Um, well, whilst, whilst I agree with the need to dialogue, you know, I know the implications of having a sovereign national, national conference. conference. That means, more or less, Mr. President and the National Assembly would have to, you know, try to say, abdicate their power, their sovereignty to, you, to know, a, a, a group of, you know, a group of people to dialogue. On. Yeah, essentially. So um, I would I would say other than that because that would really happen, say for if violence is unleashed, um, I would be advocating for a situation where I think we have the Bel Alpha Belgore um, Justice um, retired, his committee on constitutional review as we speak. Um, if the format of the or the structure of that committee is amended to include maybe representatives from the eight eight hundred and eleven. Um, local governments. I'm sure people are wondering that there are 774 in the Constitution, but I know with Lagos State and the LCDA, it makes up 811. If we have representatives from these areas sending their memoranda and congregating, then you have a more, ref the, you know, the proposed amendments will be a reflection of the will of the people as opposed to 21 people. Hmm. Okay. So that, I mean, might be a, that might be a solution. In the past, let's say, six, seven months, there have been unimportant issues that people have said oh, the government is taking on. The gay, the gay, gay rights bill, the first subsidy, you know. Why does it, does it seem as if the government is focusing on not the real matters, for instance? You know, I'm just being, you know, I'm just because wondering in my head because the while there's issue. so much, you know, the subsidy got so much, you know, response from, I mean, I think every day we had one minister also come on, on air yeah, and talk about this, about that. that. Yeah. Everyone spoke about it, because the people, you know, okay. but we're not getting so much. Yeah, and just to put the question in the framework, because the security okay. issue has been recurring. Yes, it's been, a, it's been on. I mean, now we are now, now Nigeria is now known as one of those states where they put secu state. security alert. Yeah. We are now a terrorist country. Okay, yeah. in an ideal society, um, everything, everything come along. You don't drop one for the other as it were. If in an ideal society. But um, given what we have uh, right now, uh, honestly, all efforts should be concentrated towards security in the country. Now, Boko Haram issue is not an issue. I mean, people don't just blast bomb overnight. There is a well-laid plan. Mm -hmm. They must have sat somewhere. Mm -hmm. They must have thought of it. Boko Haram would have been issues long ago thought of. I think the problem, like he rightly said, is a systemic decay. Now the police force, the army everywhere is could be easily, I mean, contaminated. These people could have their persons inside. I, I still query how they were able to get into the police head, uh, head office. Head office. There. Why were they? Be, why were they able to trace? The IG down to that place. Who, mm. who gave them the itinerary okay. of the IG? Mm. Okay. Now, just to, I mean, as usual, time is never our friend, so and it just runs so fast. Up. You know, yeah. and, and then you realize that you have to go. Um, but I mean, thank you because we, we've had very interesting discussions. Now, you, you you've given you know a solution. You know, what would you just one final solution you think can be you know preferred for Boko Haram? Just 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 one. Um, like and the, quickly, yeah. Sorry. Like the elders of Meduguri, like they said, they went to meet with Mr. President, and they said, "Look, we draw the soldiers from the street. 
called we live with these people we know them mm. let's find a way of infiltrating their camp mm. but mr president refused to listen i think you have to listen to them intelligence gathering is the key mm. okay all right we need to go um sadly we, we, we would not be able to take your, <laughs> your comment actually what i want to say also comes from what, what he said okay. intelligence gathering mm. they need to really Remodify their mode of intelligence that's and that's the solution. And it's everything, all these boys dance to. Any person saddled with a responsibility, do it. Okay. Okay. Thank, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank all right. you guys. It's been Robin Minds on Channels TV, very intellectual very conversation with four lawyers. Thank you for, for coming out here. And eventually, we didn't open that book. Um, no, they, they have it in their head. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, in, their, head. in their heads. But these are trying times for Nigeria, and we do pray that God heals our land as religious as this sounds. We do really pray that God heals our land, even as we do our best, as well as media practitioners. As